Okay, well it's time to move on to the next step. And that would be this head turn mechanism. So, I'm just going to take this whole mechanism off and strip it down, clean it up, and put it back together. Uh, the head mechanism is definitely messed up. As I shared in previous videos, like it probably shouldn't be doing that. And then it doesn't have all the turn all the way to the left. So, all the way to the right, I mean. So yeah, I'll take it apart and then try to figure out what's going on here. And uh, put it back together. Hopefully I can get it back together. Well, there's one rolling pin. I don't know if you saw in the time last video. I tried to take it out with an Allen. I don't have a rolling pin uh, set, but uh, it wasn't budging. So I'm just going to leave it in because I have it stripped down enough that I can get a good clean on all this parts. And really on this assembly right here, there's no play or no reason to mess with it. And uh, this is all the other parts. So I'm just going to go and clean it all up so I don't get greasy and then uh, start putting it back together. I do have to try to find a bushing. It's missing out of this one. So I had to try to find what bushing that is. And I think one of these rod ends are kind of wild out. So I'm gonna, this one right here, this rod ends wild out. So I'm gonna have to try to find a new rod end. Well, I went and I degreased everything. And then uh, when I did the head, it was pretty hot outside. So I was able to sit everything on my driveway and it dried pretty fast, but uh, it cooled down since we got that hurricane come through. We just, the very edge of the hurricane came through here. It wasn't really that bad. Just some rain and high winds, but it's definitely a lot cooler now. So I stuck all this in my oven and just put it on 200, let it heat up to 200, and then I turned it off just to get everything nice and dry. Now I found out what one of the problems were with the uh, head turn being messed up. Remember, there was a roll pin in here that I don't have the right tools to get out, so I'm just leaving it in there. Well, on the other mechanism, there's a roll pin too that broke. So you see the roll pin's supposed to go through there and through there, but it broke. That's why the head turn was all messed up. Even though it has these Allens, you know, you still need that roll pin to keep it from moving. The roll pin's stuck in there. So I'm going to have to go out and get a set of roll pin punches and roll pins. And uh, so when I put it back together, I'm going to put the roll pin in. I need to order this bushing and I need to order a new rod end. So uh, this project will be on hold for a couple days till I get all that straightened out. Okay so I'm putting it back together and now I'm gonna have to really sit down and think about some things because as you know the head turn was messed up and it was because this roll pin was gone. Now from the way I took it apart this is the way that this uh, collar was on it wasn't flipped 180 so I put it on this way so there's only one or two positions that the this can be locked in this way and this way now from the marks on the scoring on the rod because it's Allen it looks like it was locked in this way so I'm gonna have to go and see if that's the way it's supposed to be or if they were wrong and it's supposed to be this way the whole entire time. Okay, sorry for the loud noises. It's raining and I have a metal shed. But uh, off of Amazon I bought a new bushing to replace this. So I'm going to uh, press this in here. And I'm going to take this off and uh, press it in using the vise. Well, it looks like I don't need to press it in because it slides right in there. So what I'll probably have to do is, uh, it slides in there, there's not that much play. So I'll just leave it like that for now. But uh, Loctite makes a bearing mount. It's 
I believe it's yellow. And it's called bearing mount. I'll have to get some of that and uh, squirt in there to keep it nice and solid. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out what the proper orientation of this collar is. But I noticed that there is actually something blocking that hole, which last week I thought I cleared that hole out, which is kind of weird. So I tried to beat it out, and uh, my brand new Harbor Freight punch didn't, uh, didn't hold up to the job. Okay, so I'm a bit of an idiot. Uh, that hole wasn't blocked, it's just the post that this, the post that comes up in the center of this rod was blocking that hole, so I had to loosen these up and to lift it up. Okay, I got it all figured out and I put the new roll pin in. Uh, I just now need to make the adjustments so that this will be perfectly straight when both actuators are closed. But, uh... Before I do that, I'm going to go and try to see if I can order these rod ends because this one in particular is very wild out. And uh, when I screw this one on, it's kind of crooked. So I'm going to see if I can find the replacement rod end for this. Okay, I got to put it all back together. I got all new rod ends. Ordering these rod ends were uh, very difficult because they go by a yoke size that I really don't understand. but. I was able to find a website that gave some measurements, so I was able to order a rod, rod ends that work. But as you can see, the rod end was a little shorter than the normal rod end. But luckily it doesn't matter because the way the actuators are, when I pulled this side in for being shorter, when I replaced the other rod end, it kind of equaled out. So when both of these are closed, the head turn is uh, perfectly straight. And then when one extends, turns right and then when the other extends it turns left um and the good thing about these rod ends is when i ordered them it came with these pins which are supposed to be in there not these stupid quick disconnects that uh for some reason the person who was working on this before decided to put these uh quick release pins in which totally that's why it worn out this rod end so there's actually no play in the head which is cool head turn and I'll show you oh it's gonna fall down you see they really this one had the original in it but they put a quick release pin in and it totally walled out this aluminum you see they're supposed to have these pins in and then they have these set screws in it to prevent the pin from moving around so it doesn't um, wallow out the aluminum and originally I was going to try to weld this and drill it. I might do that eventually, but I think I'm going to, after I finish this head turn, I'm just going to uh, work on actually getting it working instead of, because besides that being wild out, uh, mechanically the arms are fine. The arms are pretty simple. But now I had to go and test all the head actuators. So I have... Oh have the one hooked up and no leaks I'm having a sticky solenoid valve again so I just, oh there we go and no leaks that way and notice that the mechanism isn't hitting the side structure like it was before the it's actually stopping you want all your stops to be on the end of the stroke of the actuators so, let me test the other ones okay all the actuators test it fine so i'm going to end this video here uh, for the head turn mechanism and like i said i'm getting kind of tired of uh, you know doing cleaning and taking it apart and putting it back together the rest of the figure is in pretty good shape except for where the aluminum's wild out. So I think uh, the next video I'm gonna be totally different. I'm gonna focus on a different aspect of the project. So I hope you enjoyed the video. See ya.